Arranging your home theater speakers properly can have a huge impact on your system's sound. Let's take a look at how to place your speakers for the best sound and how to tackle some common room challenges. We'll start in the front with the left and right speakers. You want the front left and right speakers to focus their sound field at your listening position, so you'll want to angle the speakers slightly. Next, play around with how close to the wall you place the speakers until the sound is to your liking. We've found that placing them closer to the wall reinforces the bass slightly, but you might have more balanced sound if you pull them away from the wall a bit. And remember, your subwoofer will fill in those low frequencies. We'll talk about subs a little later. For best results, position the tweeters of the front left and right speakers so they're at ear level when you're sitting down. The center channel should be centered above or below the TV. If the speaker ends up lower or higher than your listening position, see if you can tilt it to point directly at you. You can place your surround speakers on stands or mount them to the wall. In a 5.1 setup, the best position for the rear surrounds is to the side of your listening position, pointed directly at you. If side placement won't work, you can place them a few feet behind you and point them forward. For the best sound effects, place them so they are one or two feet above ear level. A 7.1 setup adds a pair of rear surrounds to the traditional setup. Place one set of speakers to the side and place the other pair behind you. Aim all the speakers at your listening position. Like the surrounds in a 5.1 setup, place the speakers one to two feet above your ear level for the best sound. Your subwoofer produces low frequencies that spread out more rapidly than high frequencies, so placement of your sub isn't as important with the front and rear speakers. For this reason, placing your sub near a wall or room corner will get you more bass. Most people end up putting their sub in the front of the room, within striking distance of the home theater receiver. If you have a tough room and need to place the sub somewhere else, you can either run a long cable to it or use a conversion kit to make a wireless connection from the sub to the receiver. If your room isn't perfectly symmetrical, that's fine too. Here's what we recommend for a few common layouts. In an L-shaped room, arrange your system according to the 5.1 guidelines. And here's a tip that works in any room. Pull your couch away from the back wall a bit, away from the reflective surface of the wall to help improve sound quality. If your TV occupies a corner of the room, you have a couple of options. If your couch sits along one wall, arrange your surrounds to the sides and angle all speakers towards the centermost listening position. If you have seating along both walls, you may want to consider a sound bar or a 3.1 speaker setup because the additional seating area will make it difficult to place your satellite speakers. In an open floor plan, finding a place for the rear speakers will be your main challenge. You might be able to put a pair of end ceiling speakers to function as surrounds. If you do that, place them a couple of feet behind your seating area for exciting overhead effects. If you're not able to use bookshelf speakers or end ceiling speakers, consider a sound bar 3.1 setup. No matter what your layout may be, you won't need to find the absolute perfect spot for each speaker. Many home theater receivers offer automatic speaker calibration, which places a microphone in your listening positions and then adjusts speaker timing and EQ to put you in the sweet spot. Speaker placement is an important part of getting great home theater sound, and we have years of experience helping people pick out and set up their speakers. If you have any questions, we're happy to help.